Alright, before I start the video, I'm not gonna bother you with a long intro, but just saying this is part 1 in the skips and statues series, a series where I will show you every skip and every statue that I know in towers above intense. I will do this type of video on every tower from uh, remorses all the way up to catastrophic. I'm not gonna do it on towers like TOCP though, because I haven't beaten those, not have I really outdrumped them properly. So I feel like I'm gonna do this type of video on TOGF because that's my hardest tower and TOAM. And that's pretty much it. This is part 1 aka teaching you how to speed glitch and hair equip because these things are gonna be really useful in the series, especially for GBJ escaping and uh, clipping out of towers or clipping back in towers in order to get back in them if you have fallen outside. So I feel like this will help a bunch of people with towers, especially on Remorses Towers, because not many people make videos on Remorses Towers anymore. And I feel like I have potential of this, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's just get into it. Alright, so here I am in ring 5. I'm gonna go in the uh, TLCR because I don't know what else to go in to show you this. First of all, for speed glitch, let me just go on a long jump real quick. What is a long jump? Let's just do it on this, because uh, jumping from the other way here is not very really easy, so yeah. This is how you can do it without a speed glitch, you can't really do it consistently, it's like a weird jump. There's just a really weird example, by the way. Speed glitch is supposed to help you on a lot of jumps, not just this. But it is unlegit, so you're gonna get bullied for it, probably, I have no idea, just ignore people, I guess. Alright, so in order to speed glitch, you wanna equip heavy powers, hold click, jump once, stop holding click, and then you have speed glitch. But it only works when you jump sideways with shift lock. For example, if I do what I just did, but I jump like this, it's not going to give you any boost, because that takes away your momentum from the speed glitch. You need to jump sideways like this, in order to get it. As you can see, the jump becomes much easier than legit. This is me trying to do it legit, failing it. And this with speed glitch. You don't even need to get momentum and you still make it. Speed glitch is just making uh, 13 star jumps feel like the 12.5 or 12. So yeah, it's just like half a star extra jump power. I don't really know how this glitch works and I don't know if they're gonna patch it, so... For other players who don't care about legitness, here you go, you can use this to have fun in towers, I guess. And for the people who do care about legi legitness, then cry about it, because I really don't care whatever you think. It is a game at the end of the day, and I don't think you should care in what way people play, so yeah, that's pretty much it for speed glitch. Now let's just get into hair equipping. Now, before you can hair equip, you do need one program, and that is Bandicam. Who would have thought? You need to open Bandicam, and once you're here in home, this is where it's gonna put you automatically. You want to go to FPS, set your hotkey for activating it. I set mine to Z, so it's gonna say pressing Z from now on, but you can set it to anything you want. Click the set FPS limit to 15. You can do 14 as well, but I prefer 15. So set this to 15 and make it so only when you press Z it activates. As you can see now that I set it to 15 here, whenever I go back into JTO, if I press Z it goes to 15 FPS from 60. I know I can use FPS on record by the way, but I can't be bothered to open it, that's why I'm not using it right now. Alright, so they patched hair equipping in Citadel of Constating region, so I have to go in tow for any other tower to show you this. You wanna equip heavy powers, go sideways, and then activate 15 FPS, and then jump, hold spacebar, and once your feet land down, you want to immediately hold W after you hold spacebar. You can see by what keys I press on the knockboard, aka the keyboard overlay, you can just press what I do. You have to hold click for a little bit, and as you can see I just have equip. It's very useful I guess, if you wanna do towers in the unlegit way, which is completely fine, it is a game. Also, before I continue, just saying, you're probably gonna get some people calling you unlegit and other stuff, because that's the community in this game, well, you have two options, option one, be a bitch about it, 
option two, ignore them completely and keep doing your own business, which is what I would do. For example, let's say I fell outside of the tower, I want to get back in. Well, guess what? If someone calls me on legit, I'm just gonna ignore them and creep back into the tower if I can right now. Which for some reason I'm not able to because I'm shit at the game. Okay, I just did it. Oh, I wasn't able to because there's a platform here. I mean a wedge. Anyway, that's pretty much it for hair keeping and speed glitching. Let me show you speed glitching again in this style because this style has a lot of long jumps. For example, this jump, you speed glitch, you make it much more easily. You can use speed glitch in tower for a lot. It makes the tower like intense, I guess. So if you want a free demonstrator, just use speed glitch on tower for maybe. That's what I did. And if you wondered why I use speed glitch in this tower, it's because I was really bad at the game back then and I just didn't find this tower fun, so I decided to use speed glitch on it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for speed glitching and hair clipping. I hope you find this useful. So, yeah. The video is going to end now. Bye. I hope you can use this to your own advantage.